Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today in this video, we're going to look at my Yang Yang Blueberry, which is the one on the far left. And then we're going to also look at some of the orchids, the blue orchids that I have in my collection and how they compare against one another. So this one, Yang Yang Blueberry, came to me as a blooming size plant. It was a small plant. It is still small. However, it has grown a couple leaves under my care and definitely a lot more roots. Initially, it was in semi-hydro and I didn't think it was doing so well. It didn't have that many roots. So I have repotted it since. And the container you see here is a you know, a different container where I drew holes on the sides and also holes at the bottom. And you can see there are roots growing out of the, the drainage hole too. And since the repot, this orchid has done even better. Lots of roots inside the media. I know this orchid is still positioned kind of slightly tilted because I wanted, to, I needed to accommodate how the roots were at the time. So it's still not in the most upright position, but I will eventually adjust, you know, if I have to repot this orchid again. This orchid is super fragrant and I really, really love how saturated it's it's purple is it's really not blue even though it's called blueberry but it's still it's it's that blue that has a lot of purple undertone to it and the one on the right is also called blueberry but it's jaha blueberry and the one on the left is the yang yang blueberry they're all called blueberries, but they are from different um, orchid. They're registered by different um, nursery growers. They're both really fragrant. And you know, by making this video, I actually noticed something about my orchid journey and about myself. And I'm sure you can probably rest, you know, resonate or identify with this this idea. You know, I've noticed that I go through phases or different stages in terms of you know being attracted to certain types of orchid like some of the orchids that you're gonna see in this video is my purple face but then i've noticed that i've gone through yellow face orange face <laughs> and then i also remember i went through a phase of wanting to buy orchids with modeling leaves or orchids with really interesting markings or patterns on its flowers for example luda manana and all the luda manana hybrids would also have that really interesting markings and you know i went through phases and i think you probably can identify or <laughs> or resonate um you probably have gone through the same thing as well you know purple is not my favorite color but because in orchid in the orchid world in the orchid kingdom there's never really true blue. there's not tr a th true blue in any orchid flower so anything that's close to it and i think the closest color is indigo indigo blue that's the closest that you will get in orchids you know and that's why for orchids with indigo you know cerulea or even just you know dark purple any shades of purple that's closer to blue will give this orchid higher status and bigger price tags <laughs> that's the reason if you're new to the orchid hobby but back to this orchid, I really think it's a nice orchid to have. I love it. I love its fragrance. And now here is the first of some of the f extra footage that I decide to include in this video. At that time, I just happened to have these orchids sort of in the purple slash blue f color family that were in bloom so i put them together they're they're sort of you know on in the same space on the same shelf and so i put them together and just to give you you have a sneak peek into what was happening at the time obviously i try to include different kinds of light condition natural sunlight grow light without grow light just to give you a sense of how they the colors change because even with the same camera you don't necessarily capture the truest color. Sometimes the blue is more blue, sometimes the purple is more blue. So it just depends. So never really believe what you see, except it's right in front of you. 
<laughs> okay. So yeah, I went through the purple phase. I don't know if you have, and if you have, what kind of orchids did, did you buy? Um, did you have some of the ones that I have? And what's your experience with them? It would be great if you can, you know, share your experience in the comments down below. Um, I don't really have a favorite. If anything, I would say the two blueberries and then the bottom right, you know, the the miniatures is probably my, my favorite three out of the bunch. I mean, the, the sapphire, the one on the far left is also good, but I think the, you know, I think I really like my blueberries, the two. And obviously Purple Martin always ha would have a special place in my heart, but, um, you know, I think I have found other purple orchids that would, that would, you know, be more on top in terms of priority list if you want me to rank them. And let's just quickly talk about the care I give to these orchids. In my collection, almost 99% of the, of the orchids receive 25% uh, fertilizer. So 25% quarter strength fertilizer and then quarter cup of water for certain orchids that I know may not necessarily require quarter cup in winter times I will go down to one eighth of a cup but that's pretty much the amount of water I give to most of my orchids and then at the end of each month I will use just water no fertilizer to flush or soak the orchid to basically wash away dead tissues and um, and salt build up from fertilizer. So that's the general care. And in terms of humidity in my environment, it's relatively stable for the most part. Um, it could go anywhere between 45% to 65%, but primarily 50% 50, 50 is the range that it's usually, you know, in. And if I see humidity drops, then I would turn on my humidifier. Um, but usually I actually use that more in the summertime, in winter time, I tend to keep them on the drier side if I can. Another thing I want to say, and this is sort of an answer to a, a question, and that is how many orchids I have and how do I take care of and how do I find time? Well, I have just uh, over 100 orchids and my weekly watering routine would take about 90 minutes. I don't want to buy more orchids and I have not due to the pandemic and also for the past a year and a half I haven't bought anything because I want to make sure I don't spend more time than I want to so that I can enjoy this orchid hobby and, and not feel I have to do it and not enslave myself to these orchids because I own them and not the other way around. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!